So with the summer being right around the corner, of course, we do want to smell good on a budget. And I think that that's Dossier's specialty, is they create original fragrances as well as inspirations of more popular niche and designer fragrances. If you're looking to smell good on a budget, I have five recommendations for you today. These are great for the summertime, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on these five dossier fragrances that are perfect for the summertime, if you want a little bit of versatility and you want fragrances that all smell different from one another, they all stand out. Some are inspirations of designer fragrances, niche fragrances, originals, a little bit of everything. I do want to start the video off first by saying if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. Now, Let's go ahead and jump into this list. Some of them are inspirations of niche fragrances, designer fragrances. There's a little bit of everything in here. The first one that I want to talk about is called Citrus Neroli. Now, of course, this is their take on Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. You guys know when it comes to the Tom Ford private blend fragrances, there are a few that are great for the hotter weather. Mandarino di Amalfi, Costa Azzurra used to be one in the private blend and now it's in the signature collection. But of course, we also have Neroli Portofino and and citrus neroli gives you that bright juicy citrusy neroli in the opening of course there's also mandarin bergamot orange blossom jasmine musks amber it has a lot of really bright citrusy great for the hot weather type of ingredients and citrus neroli is amazing and it really does smell like 98 percent similar to neroli portofino you cannot go wrong this is a wonderful wonderful fragrance and it's a great casual and dressed up sort of a fragrance so it is very versatile in that regard. Of course, the next fragrance that I want to recommend is called Woody Basil, and this is their version of Lum by Yves Saint Laurent. That's a fragrance that I always thought because of the citrus and the ginger works really, really well in the hotter weather. It's incredibly versatile, so you can actually wear it all year round, especially if you're wearing it in a climate controlled environment. But of course, with this fragrance, the lavender, the violet, the ginger, the bergamot, the blonde woods, and the dry down, this makes for a great sort of an office type of a fragrance. If you're looking for a bit of sweetness to it as well, because it does have the tonka bean, very smooth, masculine, elegant, professional, but it also has that freshness to it on account of the ginger and the citrus in here. The violet is also very smooth, very clean, great for an office setting, but of course, superb for the hotter weather in my opinion. And then of course, we have another one that is called Woody Geranium. Now this one with notes of mint, red apple, pineapple, you hear that? No, it's not Crete Aventus. This is actually Mont Blanc Legend. So if you've ever tried Legend, you know that it has that bright lavender, the geranium, which can be a little minty, a little rosy. It has that fruity nuance in the opening, but it's also very bright, very smooth, very elegant. Of course, when it comes to Moon Blanc Legend, they have made some flankers that have taken it in a more of a dark direction. If you're looking at the original though, that one is great for all year long, but I personally prefer to wear it in the spring and summer. And of course, that's what you're also going to get with the inspiration. Woody Geranium, wonderful fragrance. I believe I've reviewed this one. I try to review every dossier fragrance that I acquire and this is one that no doubt is perfect for the hotter weather. Now if we can get into some niche territory because all three of these have been designer, right? The first niche fragrance that I would recommend which is actually the only one that's on this list is actually an inspiration of a Lelabo fragrance. And when it comes to Le Labo fragrances, of course, there's Bergamot 22, which is great for the summertime. And there's the Neroli offering, but I already have a Neroli, so I didn't want to double it up. This is actually Musky Gayak. So this is their take on Gayak 10. And Gayak 10 is very smooth, elegant. It's a summer fresh fragrance without being citrusy. And I think that that's kind of hard to achieve for a lot of brands. And you know, sometimes when you get into woodsy territory, it can almost be kind of too dark sometimes with the cedar wood and sometimes they add birch, which creates a smoky sensation. Now this one, it has the Gayak wood, the clean musks, the cedar, and it also has a little bit of frankincense in the opening. And the frankincense, I have always said this, frankincense for me has sort of a lemony pine smell. So I think it's that lemony personality of the olibanum, otherwise known as frankincense, that creates that fresh sensation coupled with the gayak wood, which is actually quite smooth. This one 
wonderful for the hotter weather, great for the summertime. You can wear it in the spring as well. Now the fragrance that I'm gonna put in the number one spot that I've actually really, really been enjoying lately. And I think this one is done spectacularly well. This is actually an original creation. And I love the fact that Dossier has put out some originals as of late. This one is called Sunny Vetiver and Neroli. This is completely genderless. Anybody can wear this one and this one you just read the note breakdown, you're like, oh yeah, with a name like Sunny, Vetiver and Neroli, this is gonna be for the summertime. Bergamot, grapefruit, Neroli, orange blossom, geranium, Elemi resin, and then in the base, Haitian, Vetiver, patchouli, and cedarwood. You think about these bright, citrusy ingredients, the neroli, the grapefruit, the bergamot, the orange blossom, of course. This is gonna be great for the hotter weather. Now the vetiver in here actually takes a bit of a darker approach in the opening. And if you don't let this one settle on skin, you're gonna get the impression that it's a lot darker than it actually is. You know, with fragrances like Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford or even Guerlain's Vetiver coming to mind. But of course, the citrus completely takes your breath away. And I love this fragrance for that reason. It also has much darker liquid than anything else. I would surmise that that's the Haitian vetiver because it is, I believe, of natural origin in this fragrance and it's done so, so well. Sunny vetiver and Roly. These are five affordable, really wonderful, high quality fragrances for the summertime. And of course, they cut out the middleman and so you can get it sort of direct to consumer from the website and it's very inexpensive for that reason. Five affordable offerings that will leave you smelling really high quality. These are high quality fragrances and they smell very expensive and they're certainly worth your money. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you took something of value from today's episode. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for your viewership. It means a lot to me. I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.